हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू स्पेक्ट्रम क्लासेस दिस इज माय पार्ट टू वीडियो ऑफ द ग्राउंड स्टेट टर्म सिंबल्स ऑफ ट्रांजिशन मेटल आयन कॉम्प्लेक्सेस सो हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू मोर एग्जांपल्स ऑफ ट्रांजिशन मेटल आयन कॉम्प्लेक्सेस इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द ग्राउंड स्टेट टर्म सिंबल फॉर द ट्रांजिशन मेटल आयोन्स इन देयर कॉम्प्लेक्सेस so few are the octahedral complexes and few are tetrahedral complexes so let's start with the video the next example is cr cn6 4 minus so we are having cn6 cn is having minus 1 contribution so we have to calculate the oxidation state in the first step so chromium is say having x plus 6 is the subscript into minus 1 is equal to 4 minus 4 minus comes from the charge on the complex right so x is having two value means chromium is in second oxidation state in this complex the next step is to write down the electronic configuration so what i said this is 24 so four electrons in the d orbital and two electrons in the s orbital but for more stability this is an exception so d5 or s1 both are half filled so it has more stability in this Form. Now two electrons has to be removed from this as it is in second oxidation state. So one electron from this s and one electron from this d. Now the third step is it is strong field ligand or weak field ligand. It says strong field ligand. Now writing the electronic configuration. In case of a strong field ligands, the electrons are paired. First electron four electrons are there. So four electrons first fill three orbitals of t two g. One, two, three, and then fourth will get pair. So this will be the electron filling. Now calculate the total orbital angular momentum for this. So here is the value. So plus two, plus one, zero, then plus two. So we will get five. And corresponding to this five, we are having H term. Now we are having two unpaired electrons. So it is having n plus two, three H will be the term symbol. But you have to calculate this total spin angular momentum and its multiplicity by the formula 2s plus 1. Here is the answer. Now coming to the next, we are having Mn Cl6 4 minus. So here Cl is again, it's not a neutral. So we are having x plus 6 subscript into minus 1 is equal to minus 4. X is in second oxidation state. Here, write down the electronic configuration and in the oxidation state. So here, twenty five five will be go into three d orbital and four s two. Now in the second oxidation state, two electrons has to be removed. So these two electrons has been removed from this s orbital, right? So we are having this type of situation. On filling the electrons in the d orbital, first consider whether it is strong field or weak field. So we it's a weak field ligand. so all are unpaired right now calculate the total orbital angular momentum so all will gives this this is a half filled so all will will cancel out with each other so we will get zero so for zero we are having s how many unpaired electrons are there six five electrons are there so we will get n plus 1 6 6x will be the term symbol now coming to the next complexes so cobalt and nickel so first we will discuss the cobalt Examine three plus. So in this case, NH three is a neutral ligand. It will not having any charge, right? Neutral ligand. So cobalt will be in three plus oxidation state. Similarly, you are going to calculate nickel water aqua hexa aqua complex. So water is again a neutral ligand. So it will not give any charges. So nickel will be in plus two oxidation state. So from here you can easily predict. now coming to the next write down their electronic configurations so this is the electronic configuration for cobalt and nickel as i said 27 so d7 28 d8 4s2 will be there right but in the three oxidation state we have to remove three electrons so two from this s one from this d so 3d6 here two electrons from this s so 3d8 
how we are going to fill the electrons so first you have to identify ns3 is a nitrogen donor ligand and it's a strong filled ligand so it will pair the electrons so six electrons will go one two three then again four five six c2g orbitals will be filled here now calculate in the next step total orbital angular momentum so for this four plus two plus zero so six for 6, we are having the term I. How many electrons are there? Unpaired, 0 electrons. So, 1 will be the spin multiplicity, right? 1I is the answer. The next one is nickel D8. Here, the important point to discuss this complex is that whether the ligand will be strong filled or weak filled, we are having the same type of configuration. So, for nickel, we need not to bother about the strong field ligand or weak field ligand. So here we are having one uh, D8 system. So D8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? And here these are filled, half filled will cancel out each other. Only remaining paired electrons will contribute towards the orbital angular momentum. So plus 2, plus 1, 0. We will get 3. This is the trick actually. For this 3, we are having term F. And here, how many electrons are unpaired? 2 electrons. So, 3F will be the term. However, you have to calculate this. Okay, here you may have a question. Here we are having all the paired electrons, right? So, how they are going to contribute towards the total orbital angular momentum? But previously, we, what we have done? We have done... In case of metal ions, we just simply consider only these unpaired electrons where paired electron pairs will not contribute towards the total orbital angular momentum. You are very right. Actually, the case is this. In case of metal ions, we are first fill all the d orbitals singly and then we are starting pairing them. And in that case, if we consider the total orbital angular momentum for this d orbital then you just see plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 then plus 2 plus 1 and 0 so what you will ultimately get you will get 3 value right and if we consider only the case of these two unpaired electrons we will get the same value fine so this half filled orbitals will get cancelled out by each other and only the remaining electrons will there to contribute towards the orbital angular momentum and the value is exactly equal to the unpaired number of electrons right but here in the case of transition metal ion complexes we are having this type of situation so here it is not filled it is again not filled so the contribution to of these orbitals will be considered towards the orbital angular momentum. So this is actually the confusion where students get confused. I hope you understand this point. Now coming to the next. These are the tetrahedral complexes. Right? Four ligands are attached. So they are either having tetrahedral or they are in a square planar right so here you have to calculate the term symbol for these complexes so here first PiCl4 1 minus so first you have to calculate the oxidation state so titanium is in 22 22 means 3d2 4s2 so three electrons you have to remove it is in third oxidation state you can calculate as i discussed early in earlier slides Right, so this is in third oxidation state. So three electron has to be removed, two from the 4s orbital and one from the d 3d orbital. So only one electron is left. Right, for this we are going to calculate the orbital angular momentum. So this is plus two. Right, so l is equal to plus two. Corresponding to this two, we are having term symbol d. Right, and uh, one unpaired electron, so two d will be the term symbol for the next one mn we are having it is in second oxidation state so for 25 we have to remove two electrons so two electrons will be removed from s orbital 
right so we will left with the 3d5 and how we are going to fill this it's a weak filled ligand so these all five are unpaired right and now calculating the or total orbital angular momentum for this so l is equal to 0 this corresponds to s term how many electrons are there five electrons are there so 6s will be the term symbol so i hope guys you find this video helpful and you understand how many steps we need to consider and how with simple tricks we can calculate it easily and fastly so if you like this video please like share and subscribe Thank you all. Thanks for watching.